Hello everyone, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to see what are the must know topics that you need to master in order to clear the coding round of any company or the company of your dreams. So I have made a video about how to crack the coding round of any company and that video was very well received. And I highly suggest you watch that video as well. And what happened was that a lot of people were asking me like what are the most important topics that they should master in order to have the best shot at clearing these online coding rounds. Because there's so many topics there, you have so many data structures, you have so many algorithms, so many problem solving techniques and you hardly get 3 or 4 problems in the online coding round. So obviously people wanted to know what are the topics that have the most chance of occurring in the coding round. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And the first things first, like I always suggest, always check the interview experience of the company that you're applying for. Because once you check the interview experience, you would have some knowledge of what are the topics that the companies are focusing on. But apart from that, after generally analyzing the type of problems that appear in the coding round, because I myself have given the coding round of like countless companies. And apart from that, I have trained so many students who have given the coding round of so many companies. So I've analyzed some problems or some topics that generally occur more than the others. So what I've done is first I've divided them into three categories. So the first category is non-DSA. So these are the problems or topics that do not require any specific knowledge of any DSA. Then you have the second category which is classic DSA. Now this is the topic where you have classical DSA problems like Linglist, Stack, Q, etc. Then you have the third category which is high level DSA. So these are the three categories from which problems or topics usually come. One is the non-DSA, second is classical DSA, third is high level DSA. So let's get into them one by one. Now if you look at the first category, then you would see that there's a lot of companies that ask problems that do not require any specific DSA. These are the problems that you generally see in computer programming. Like if you go on Code Forces or if you go on Code Chef, then you would see certain problems that do not require any DSA but that requires basic maths and just the knowledge of arrays and strings. So these are the problems that just require basic maths and some basic problem solving techniques and they can be solved using just arrays and strings and some basic common problem solving techniques like sliding windows or two pointers or prefix sum array or suffix sum array, something like that. This is the first category. Now the second category is the most common category and this is the category of classical DSA problems. Now, Majority of the companies will definitely ask you one or two problem which are classical DSA problem. Now these are the problems that you see on lead code and these problems most of the times come as it is and are not even modified. Before we start the rest of the video, let me tell you about an amazing platform called Cryo. So Cryo is a platform where you can upscale yourself so that you can get to the job that you want. So they have two programs and they have some of the best content that is out there. So they have a fellowship program in software development and they have a fellowship program in QA automation as well. And their program in QA automation is India's most advanced program in this field. So they'll be teaching you everything that you need to know in the domain of QA automation. They'll teach you Java programming, they'll teach you web automation tools like Selenium, Cucumber and XPath. And they'll teach you advanced QA concepts in API, database, microservices and end-to-end -end integration testing which is required for cracking SDT jobs. And just six months into the course, you'll start interviewing with 700 plus of their hiring partners and you have a 100% placement guarantee. You can check their placement statistics out, 93% get placed within eight months and the average dream and average super dream packages are 11 LPA and 22 LPA. So they'll be teaching you everything that you need to know for QA automation. And apart from that, if you check the course content out, they'll also teach you DSA as well. And the projects that you'll be working on will be just like the real life projects that you'll be working in a company and you can put these projects in your resume, in your GitHub portfolio, which will really sell, help set you apart from the other candidates. And the best part is that they also have a free trial and they also have an EMI option available, which is as low as 7,000 per month. So go click the link in the description, book your free trial now and let's get back to the video. Like I once sat in the interview of Razorpay and Razorpay was offering 35 LP at that time and they were literally taking problems from lead code as it is and giving them to the candidates to solve. So these classical DSA problems are usually asked like Linglist, Stack, Q, Hashmap and the classical DSA, classical data structures and algorithm which you see on lead code. Now then you have high level DSA. 
these are the problems that companies which have a tough coding round ask and these are generally considering of consisting of three topics which are graphs graphs will have some really high level problems then you have dynamic programming dynamic programming is obviously something that a lot of students have difficulty in and the third is trees that includes binary search tree segment trees etc so these three are in high level dsa so that's the three categories like non dsa classical dsa and high level dsa so what i've basically done is i've made a google document where i've categorized every topic which are important in one of these three categories and apart from naming the topic i have given three problems from each topic so if you have arrays and if you have sliding windows if you have two pointers if you have strings then i've given three problem in each topic and i've mentioned these topics according to their importance and according to their priority then when you go in classical dsa then i've covered each topic that usually comes like lead linked list like queue like stack and i've given three problems from each topic likewise once we go to the high level dsa then we have graph we have dynamic programming and we have trees now here i've given seven problems from each topic because this is like a difficult domain like high level dsa that's why i'm calling it high level dsa because this is a little bit of difficult domain so here i've given seven problems from each topic so what i've done is i've taken all the important topics that usually come in the online coding round and i've fit them in one of these categories and apart from fitting them i have sorted them according to their priority and i've given three problems and seven problems on each of these topics so if you are appearing for placements if you're preparing for placements if you're preparing for your interviews or for any specific company then this google doc is going to help you a lot because this has been formed by my experience of like hundreds of companies and my students experiences of hundreds of companies and all of that has been formed into this google document So I've already explained to you what these categories are. The next thing that you should do, go to the Google Doc. The link is in the description. Go to that. Look at the topic. If there's something you don't know, read it up online. Either watch a tutorial on YouTube or read a blog about it. It doesn't matter. And then solve the problem that is there in the Google Doc. Once you do that, you'll have a high chance of getting a problem in the coding round which you're already familiar with. Because these companies don't devise new problems. I keep on saying this in all of my videos. that the companies don't devise new problems they don't find new problems they don't have researchers finding new problems they take the problem that are already there and they modify that and then they ask you the same problem in the interview so the more problems you solve from the most appearing topics the better chance you'll have at cracking your online coding round so go bookmark this sheet and start solving and start learning and remember before you do anything the most important thing the most important thing is always go through the interview experience of the company that you're appearing to and if you have any doubts if you want to ask me anything you can either reach out to me on my instagram it will appear on appear on the screen or you can just leave a comment in under my videos and if you like the video then please give it a like and share it with your friends that will really help a lot and i'll be focusing on making more videos about placements i have already made a we a playlist which is called placement preparation playlist which will help you a lot if you're appearing for placements whether it's online whether it's on campus or it's off campus it doesn't matter to so go bookmark that playlist as well and let's see each other again in the next video